Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I would like to remind you that you, if you are enjoying this series and indeed this program, I'm hoping that you can click that like button uh, to help us get uh, to this, you know, the video proliferated throughout YouTube so we can attract more people to our community. And if you get to the end of the video and you don't like it, you can take that like back um, and send me a note as to how you think it could be improved. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we're back in our base. I'm really excited. We just built this green circuit area last time. We need a lot of stuff to make this work though. Uh, lots and lots of boxes and things. And we do have a building train running uh, through here. Lots of items. It looks like they're being delivered. So the train isn't even leaving yet. We can actually look at this. Um, oh, it looks like we need to put down some radars there. And yeah, we keep getting stuff. Wait, why? Why? Oh, oh, this is a bad problem. Holy fuzzy cats. We need these things placed down. Oh boy, why are these not getting placed? Oof, 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 oof. All right, uh, one other thing I wanted to check on is make sure that we have um, logistics bots being placed in here and finding out what those will be. So available is X. Do we have one of these for X? Uh, huh. um, hmm. Everything times minus one. No. Let's see. Why? Well, these are doing Y's. Y is total logistics bots. I uh, would want to say, yeah, we definitely want to do an X if X is less than 20. Uh, because most, uh, the reason it's set this way is because most bases are, are using belts. And so we want to just have minimal logistics bots. Basically to carry the trash to the building train. And that's all they do. They just carry trash. <clears throat> so, but by doing this, we're going to be able to have more logistics bots uh, in order to carry materials, which we're going to definitely need. So let's see, how's this going? Are we doing good? Okay, we're getting... Okay, stop this, please. Stop carrying stuff back and forth. All right, we good? Now we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of watch the map here, and we're just gonna jump off when we need to uh, place down a radar, like right over here, for example. Okay, almost ready, and good thing we pressed. Uh, good thing we marked it with the um, the mouse. That was actually pretty useful. All right, <clears throat> we'll go down here and just place one out right here. Okay, great. And I definitely want to, let's put this back on. I want to finish this, can we? Yeah, we need inserters here. This has been rough. Not having inserters placing simple things like boxes around, that's, that's not great, definitely not great. Um, I do want to check on some production in the mall here. We have no boxes. Why is that? Hello? There's no iron. Okay. So the iron that's coming along this line, I think we just need to upgrade the belt. That's possibly the issue here. And by making the belt a bit faster, it allows some of the iron to bypass some of the first assemblers and thereby get to the later ones. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting some boxes. Very, very good. Okay, cool. So that's getting built and our building train, let's watch this. We're gonna have a lot more items to unload here. Excellent, look at this. We're getting all kinds of stuff here. Are we getting, we got some red chests as well. Good, good, good. Are we out of construction? Why have these construction bots taken so long to get here? That's weird. Anyway, oh, when we need a, a radar down here as well. Anyway, this is gonna build itself over time. Um, so one of the things that I would like to do, I think, is I wanna set up a train depot. And we might even just build it right out, right over here even. Could do that, just build it right here. Um, and that way it'll be uh, getting materials from the base, like train cars and, and whatnot. So that seems good. So let's get our depot. Um, hmm. We need to, let's put in a curve here 
for reference distance. Let's open up. That's the wrong thing, but we'll get there anyway. Rails. Here we go. Um, ha, 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 ha. Train depot. There we go. That's what we want. So, actually, yeah, this, this will definitely work. Definitely will work, except for this bit. Let's see. Which is the entrance? The... Stations are on the right-hand side. Okay, so that's not, not... Oh, actually, it fits right there. Isn't that nice? Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Okay, cool. So we can delete this bit. And we can delete some of these bits. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any coming from that angle. They can just go around uh, very easily. So there we go. Go away. Go away. And I'm really excited about the wireless transmission. No more of these silly red and green lines on our, on all of our rail lines, if we decided to use them or not, you know? It's like, oh. Okay, here we go. And, um, hmm. yeah, this is designed to be an out station. I don't know why I've made an entrance, um, but I have for whatever reason. Um, we do need to kind of connect this to the base. So let's put down another robo port that will connect these different um, structures here. Okay, and then you can go there. That'll connect that up. Good. Definitely need more robo ports. Let's keep on building all of the tracks that are needed here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for more trains. Technically, what I could do is just create templates for trains, like an iron train or a uh, copper train. Actually, I might not need to do that. We already have things like the fish book, so we don't actually need that, do we? No, we really don't. If we go down here, let's go to the fish book and get iron. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then another loco. Okay, good. Also, did we provide any kind of, uh, ooh, I bet, I bet we did not fuel these, these trains yet, did we? I'm thinking we, did we? I don't think we have any fuel here. I think we need to get fuel from our main base, and I don't think we have any. Mm, hello? No, that's tools. Nope, it looks like we don't have any fuel here. This is not great. Um, let's move this one, uh, or this one out. One. And then we'll get another one there, and then we need to do a double this over here. We need to get this building train back and fuel this train. Uh, with um, with some uh, solid fuel. Okay, so this is an iron train. So now I want to copy, uh, or not copy it actually, I do want to pick up the, the copper cars now. Copper plates, not copper ore. This, these are going to be on this, uh, these train lines where we're trying to get stuff to the green circuit factory, just in case you are um, not remembering where we're going. Make sure that both engines face forward because if they're facing backward, they count as dead weight. They do not produce tractive power when facing backwards. So that's something really important to, to keep in mind. Why, why does this one not have all of the same amenities? This is so weird don't really get this at all. I don't I don't understand this. That's so strange. All right. Anyway, these need to be uh, asking for solid fuel, but this one is also not close enough. This should work, but we need more of those guys. All right. But everything is connected, I believe. Connected. Let's see what we got over here. Also, did we adjust 
the shunting yard for this place? I don't think so. No. Haha, <laughs> we didn't. Whoops. Whoops. Slight whoops there. We need to adjust the shunting yard to keep track of these uh, ten long trains, because right now they're not. They're the very short uh, things. Okay, we need more gears for here. That's not ideal. I can go and... Uh... Oh! You know what we could do? We could... Uh, oh. Hmm. We could... Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We need more space here. Or some of Bob's inserters. Man, those would be nice for sure. But yeah, this is not keeping up with gears at all. I think we were at s low power for a very, very long time. So um, that really impacted what we're able to do here. And it's slowed down the factory uh, quite a lot. So, And so therefore none of this was able to um, produce and overproduce and all that kind of stuff. But what I could do, I think what I'm going to do in fact, is just do something like this where I add gears from places that are not using them. So let's see, you're going to request gears. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with 200. Okay. And then... Um, so those are probably from the random land, I would guess. We can, we can do something here, actually. Let's save some bot trips. We can do something like uh, like this. Only picking up gears so that we don't pick up the copper on this line. But this is clearly we're not using enough science to keep up with this. Um, there are other places that also make gears, namely the belt fa factory. Let's see if we can... Is, are there any for sale? Oh yes, plenty. Plenty for sale. We'll put that one one out so that these guys get last call on gears. I think that's important. Okay, and then we put these in a red chest. And I'll save this to like, I don't know, four is enough. Copy, paste. Mm -hmm. You go there. And then have we gotten belts? Not yet. Okay. So it looks like we're short on blue science. Uh, let's check on why that is. Okay, the blue science looks like it's probably missing red chips again. Yeah, as always. So here are the red chips. It looks like we're getting a lot of stuff, but we're missing copper. Wow, we are really short on copper here. I kind of wonder, it looks like we're missing a lot of copper ore. So maybe we need to build a... Um, a station that gives us some ore in here. I guess we can bring it in here. Why not? I mean, we could. This is what the station is for, so I guess we could do that. Okay, we are now getting so many gears. This is pretty great. Okay, yeah, now we're getting roboports. That's very, very, very important. Okay, so finally we're going to get all of that stuff done. Now, I'm thinking with the... Oh, God, I can't get out of... Ah! How do we get out? Help! Help, help. Also, let's check on power. Because power is really, has been lagging behind. Now we, we effectively doubled it. Um, but I think we should be more proactive and just do it again. Just grab the entire situation here. Yep. And then clonk it down again. Eh. Dude, pixel, pixel perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. may have to just reduce my mouse sensitivity <laughs> okay there we go we got it we got it and then we can also put another down here let me just reduce the mouse sensitivity that'll help us okay that's better I have my mouse sensitivity on the highest level so Okay, there we go. We may never need nuclear power at this rate. Okay, very nice. There we go. Okay, so now that's getting uh, to be working. That's pretty exciting, I have to say. Um, what are we going to do now? We need to 
get trains to get some uh, copper ore in here. I think now is a good time where we can, well, maybe, I don't know if good is the right word, good time or not, but we do have some belts available at least, and we can put down, let's replop the, no, we don't want to do that. Um, hmm. What I want is just to replop the belts for stuff. Let's go into the blueprint sandboxes and we'll go and plop this thing down. What I'm looking for is our base station. Let's see, base station, yep. Rotate it because it's facing this way. And I want to just get rid of a lot of stuff that we haven't needed. Also the building train stuff because I don't want it to copy these boxes over. That's the main thing. So then we'll just copy this. Hmm. Uh -huh. All right, and then get out of the sandboxes and here we go. So this is gonna be there. Yep, okay, good. Mm -hmm. That was there, I remember removing that earlier. Okay, cool. So what have we got here? We've got coal coming out here. This is copper, so we don't actually need this much copper, I think. We just need, probably, we have two lanes of this copper. Actually, this is the copper for this. We actually need just three, really. Three lines of copper. So what we'll do is we'll take off a lot of this and just do something like this instead. And then, do these have... Wow, how do these not have belt balancers? I'm going to have to really go over all of these and just put belt balancers in. I hate like when I make a mistake, because then it's like proliferated with my entire game. Ah, they had balancers up here. That's why. Okay, that's why. Of course, of course they did. Yes. Hmm. But anyway, um, this is what we're going to need for this. And we'll just take three across because that's what we're going to need. So, we'll get these, three of these. Yep. Uh, okay. I was hoping to get the inner ones and then... Are these re reversed? Oh my god, they are reversed. They're wrong. Huh. That's weird. I wonder if that's because that's the way they are in the blueprint or if they just got messed up somehow. Okay. So... Now it's looking like, hey, we should have fed him from the other side. Uh, yep, maybe. Maybe. Okay, and this is going to be input priority from the right. Take it from here first. Okay, so let's copy this entire thing here, like this. And then we're gonna put it kind of with every, every group of furnaces we can. Uh, here? Yeah, okay. I should have grabbed the furnaces with it. Let me do that, that's easier. If I take this, grab the furnaces as well, yeah, there we go. And that way we can add that to wherever ne we need. We're going to need them on all of these guys. So we're just preparing for basically supplementing every single furnace column that we have. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to remove some of those belts, obviously. But it's okay. Okay, cool. All right, let's remove some of this. All right, that goes away. Get out of here. All right. Oh, that looks fun. Many fun things happened here, apparently. Uh-huh. Okay, get rid of this. The unexpected consequences of adding extra belts. Fun. Okay, so that one can go there. Mm -hmm. 
All right, that looks like pretty much all we need, really. We started here, so that's good. Now then, let's go across here and then, whoopsies, go there. And you go down here. Whoopsies, no. Okay, so that's copper, one copper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a train here. Now, it doesn't actually matter that this is a four train. We don't really need more than four. It's only three lanes, so it's better to just have the four train. It's fine. Um, it's going to cause a little bit of imbalance at the loading station, but it doesn't actually matter. Um, just keep that in mind. It's not a thing that matters. So, hey, hey, thing. Um... All right, so these boxes have not been programmed to retrieve any form of... Oops, that's the wrong box. There we go. Uh, request some dis. Yep, there we go. So I'm just going to copy this and then replace a lot of these guys with this. So that we can get this done. Mm-hmm. God, there's so many trains here. Okay. I thought, okay, it's just one more. It's just one more, one more, one more. And it's like, oh my God, how many are there? Am I going to remember where to put all these things? So, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to add the station, base copper ore drop off. And we're going to do empty cargo. And then we're going to go to copper ore one pickup. And we're going to say full cargo. Go. All right, nice. So that, um, I'm wondering if we need to move this back slightly, maybe. Anyway, uh, we, we can get some iron in here as well. See, this is iron, this is iron. This is another iron over here. This one goes there. Okay. Okay, so all of these are iron. That's four iron. That's quite a lot. Okay. Let's just take these this way. So copy uh, this one, sure. Go a little bit further, okay, very good. So overall, how much iron do we have coming in here? We have a lot actually, because we have all the steel as well. Um, let's see. So I think here, Let's delete these um, splitters, and that way, actually, you know what? Control one, two, three, four. And what I'm going to do is delete the inserters instead. If we need them back, we can replop them. But I don't even want them filling these boxes because that's just going to hold a bunch of resources that we don't need to go anywhere else. So you go here. Let me get um, this. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this. And then we can do this. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Okay. So that's quite a lot. Um, and then, of course, we need to upgrade this stuff. That's fine. All right, so we now have a lot of iron hooked up here, which is pretty great, pretty great. Let's get a train to start transporting this iron. Where is, there it is, okay, nice. 
Oh, should we get the fish book? We should, we should probably always use the fish book if we can. I mean, in reality. It does prevent contamination of uh, ores and, and <laughs> messing up your station. So yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Fish book is good. Okay, or filtering, I should say, is very good. Uh, now we need to go to, let's see, you're going to do empty. You can leave when you're empty. Then you go to base iron ore and add a full cargo condition. Go. Uh, whoops. Hello? No. Ah! Okay. Wrong thing. Wrong thing! We needed to go to iron ore one pickup. Yes. And you're going to go when you're full. Okay, cool. So I want to check on our copper train. How you doing? You're at copper ore one. And why is it? Why are you not moving? Oh. Huh? Oh, I thought I programmed this one already. Okay, well, there we go. Copper ore one. And then you're going to go to copper smelting. Drop off. Okay. Pick up full cargo, you go to empty cargo and go. Okay, so that one's leaving now. I thought we had set that up fully. I guess we, I think we were in the middle of things. As in like we were, um, we were building that copper smelting area before uh, we had everything going. Um, so we didn't want to start the train while we're still building the area. Okay, things are going pretty darn well. Um, one thing I do want to set up here is I'm sure we have quite a lot of... How much belt do we have? 10,000 transport belt in the base. Yeah. That means we need to set up some recycling. So these red chests here are going to become <clears throat> green ones. Uh, all of them. All of these guys. Uh, all right. There we go. And then... We just need to set these up for, do like 500, sure. And then you, the easiest thing is you can just, you know, you don't even have to find it in the menu. It's literally there. Okay, there we go. Uh, 5,000. You can do this and open it up. Not really sure why I limited these this way. It's, it's maybe it's like a, I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of a, I, it was like a fallback measure or something. I have no idea. So 500. And then you get, yeah, I could just put a zero. That would also work. Okay, cool. So now these guys are going to request stuff from our logistics storage. I should look and see what we have in logistics storage and see. We don't actually have much uh, that needs to be recycled, it seems like. Maybe some copper plate here. Uh, pipe, probably. Um, iron ore and copper ore, we really don't have much. Uh, I don't even know if it's worth putting in recycling for those things. I mean, I guess we could. I should put those on furnaces. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. It's, it seems like a smart idea. Also, these are not here. I don't know why they have not been put down yet. The purple chests. Surely we have purple chests already. No, we don't. Ah, we forgot to build them. That would be a problem. I need to fix that. Uh, I don't know if that was an accidental deletion of the inserter or what happened there, but they ain't working. So here we have our two um, trains set up for stuff. I'm going to go ahead and make a schedule for them. This one, let's make sure we have the right thing. This is iron plates. Wow, why was that limited? Why is this limited? This is not a proper fish book. What is this? Oh, man. Why would I need to... I guess I need to fix the fish book because, man... Why would you limit it to, like, a couple of stacks? That's kind of dumb. I mean, if anything, you can just say, do this, you know? But you should fill in all the things. That's really weird. I've never noticed that about the fish book. I should really replace all of the things and and make sure that they're all correct. Because that's, that's a bad problem, actually. It's really not good. This needs to be fixed. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't just fill them all in and then limit it later. 
but in any case it's good that we checked because that would have been a bad problem as in like waiting for it to fill would be very unpleasant okay so one of the things that we definitely want to also do here is um, extend these fueling things to our uh, oh there are some okay just not that one anyway we'll we'll get it sorted so this is the copper one we're gonna go to copper drop off and we're gonna say in or empty cargo and then we're gonna go to copper pickup smelting wow there is almost no stuff here that's not great this is the copper one though right yeah okay um i think we need to rename that station yeah both of those stations are named the same so we need to fix that because they are definitely different products yeah look at this they're not even having any any stuff oh no and a lot of these are missing belts that is not great building train help help hmm Okay, so wait, that building train. Oh, it does go to this station, right? Yeah, because we checked on this. Okay, so um, let's change the names of the stations first, and then we can solve other problems that we need to. Let's see, copper, smelting, plate pickup. Okay, and then the same here. Iron smelting. I think the most annoying part of the names is actually finding the icons and stuff. That's why I put those in the blueprint. Um, okay, so we're going back to this train again. Go away. So add copper smelting plate pickup. Okay, and then just say full cargo. And then empty cargo. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to leave that for now. I, I'm wondering, I don't think I need multiple trains for this, honestly. I think I just need one because the stack size is so big that um, they'll have plenty of buffer in any case. So, Okay, uh, smelting plate pickup, full, and then go to green circuits, iron drop off, um, and empty. I think what I'm going to do, though, is here, we'll do full cargo and then also time passed of 30 seconds. Maybe 60 seconds. 60 seconds is fine. Yep, let's get you um, do time pass, 60 seconds. Come on. Okay, so how are you feeling? You're not going? Go there, please. They're both destination full because we don't have any um, enough stuff there. Uh, okay, uh -huh. set train limit train limit zero why is this not I'm getting three ah it's because I forgot to change the oh darn it this is another one where I did not change the, um, the blueprint. I went through a lot of them and I guess I missed that one, whoops. So anyway, what do we have here? We have a train limit of three. Okay, so our copper, or our, our train is actually coming. Look at this, happy days, boom. Let's get this out of here. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, really? Oh my God. Locomotive Kappa. Was there ever a better name for a locomotive in the way? Holy fuzzy cats. All right, let's walk up there real quick and go and get it. Because, yeah, that was not great. All right, there we go. Perfect. So now uh, we should be able to get stuff. Wait, what? Oh, no. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. I copied the wrong... I copied the copper plate design here. Uh, there should be a way to fill or fast clear these things. I don't know how that hasn't been added to vanilla yet. There's a mod um, that would that would do that, that would fill 
this thing with filters and I don't know why we haven't gotten that in vanilla because I mean this is just repetitive repetitive tasks should be limited to computer processing humans should not have to do this this should not be a human task um, I, I'm really particular about that I feel like you know you shouldn't put you know human tasks you shouldn't make human do, do tasks that computers can easily do um, because it's just a waste of time basically Okay, how are we doing? We doing good? 19k, 20k. Wow, that's a lot of plates. Holy fuzzy cats. All right, so let's let that do its thing. And actually, no, I want to go back down to green circuits and see how that build is progressing. Um, okay, go. All right, going to the drop-off point. Let's go. This is pretty exciting. Really exciting. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, yeah, and we need to finish the shunting yard as well. I forgot about that. Okay, so all of this is now... Oh, no! Oh! You know, we forgot. Oh, no. Shoot. I might have forgotten to put in the um, the requester chests. Mm -hmm. Yep. Might have forgotten to do that just slightly. Gosh darn it. That's dumb. Um, okay. So I don't know how much is needed here. We probably can adjust. Well, we shouldn't adjust them. Let's do 200 copper. And then we're going to need a hundred iron or something. We can't really test because we don't have any of these fully filled in. Um, so, all right, let's fix it. God, that is dumb. All right, why is that not working also? Um, hello? So we need copper. Okay, we don't have copper yet. So let's go into map mode and fix this. This is just, you know, that whole thing about... Okay, so this medium electric pole are, is in the way. Uh, yeah, recopying... Uh, yeah. Blueprints. When you, when you, whenever you've proliferated a blueprint, uh, fixing it, it's like the worst thing. Because it's just so much stuff. You gotta... You gotta fix. Okay, uh, that looks like everything. So now we need to, I'm just gonna wholesale remove the power poles from here. And then I'm just gonna copy the entire array here. There we go. Okay, better. Better, better. So these guys don't have power poles. Let's add them. All right, good. All right, we're getting our second train of iron. This is pretty fantastic. Now, uh, the this smelting is not up and running yet. I'm surprised about that. Uh, is it getting a building train coming out here? It's going to building ore, so now it's going to building, smelting, which one? Iron. I wonder if it goes to this one ever. Does that one? It does go there. It just doesn't seem like it's going very frequently. All right. So let's see. This one needs power. All right. Good, good. So now we can finish off a little bit of this build over here. That is looking fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I'm going to go up there. I think that's what I need to do. Let's just go up there. I think I need that mod, the one that changes your run speed. So that I can just easily... It's, I think it's called Run Speed Toggle. I'll try to get that so I don't have to like even spend a few seconds going through the console. Okay, we now have the ability to bring copper in. 
So that's pretty good. Okay, copper is coming in again. Hooray. Very, very nice. Wait, why is this... What is going on with this train? Uh... Oh, God. How, man? I thought the fish book was normal. What happened to the fish book? It used to be that the fish book had the entire cargo normal, like, filled in. And now it's like the whole thing is messed up. How did this happen? I, I don't get this at all. I do not get it. I don't know if something happened to my copy of the fish book or what, but this is messed up. This is not cool. Okay. I'm going to paste here into all of these. And obviously I need to check the base ones as well now. I'll go ahead and ride this train a bit to there. And we'll I'll go down to the iron exhibit area. Put that in manual mode. And I'll I'll go there in a second. Okay, let's run over there. Yeah, I wish I could see those. I wonder why, so we have the, um, the mod that lets you see, like, combinators and stuff. I wonder why we don't have that in, uh, in here. Ah, oh, these are not limited, that's why. Oh, whoops, no. Copy, paste, paste, paste. I tried to do that copy-paste thing, but it didn't work properly. Yeah, so these are messed up. The fish book is, is screwed up. Okay, copy and then paste all the way down. Okay, now you can go and do your thing. Alright, and then I need to check on the base trains. So this is working quite nicely. That's good. Uh, and I can pick up some of this. Yay. Ah, I forgot this one goes all the way around. Whoops. Oh. There we have some coal down here. Ah, that is super, super annoying. Well, maybe the base trains will be there and we'll get to explore this and figure it out a bit. We shall see, I suppose. Oh, come on. Let me go past. Let me go. So I guess we'll wait for the trains to come back or call them. Heading to base. Okay, how about you? Are you heading to base? No, you're heading to the iron ore one. Let's come on back to the base, please. I want to check these because I'm sure they probably have the wrong cars now. This is such an annoyance, a really big drawback, um, and I don't know how that happened or why it happened, but we need to fix it. Yep, yeah, same thing here. Ugh, that makes me ill. It literally makes me ill. Let's see if I can copy these from afar and then paste them. Yeah, sure can. Boom, okay. Whoa, 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 dude! No, 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 come back to base. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's going to cause them to also um, not have, let's see, inactivity, not have enough time to refuel as well. That's going to cause major problems in the future. So, all right, let's see if I can find the iron train. There it is. Copy. And paste, 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 paste. Okay, cool. And I guess while I'm here... Uh, whoops, you gotta go there. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna edit this. Because this is a mess and a half. Oh, manual. Whoops. Manual, manual. Um, let's see. Rails, rail car. How, man? This is just terrible. Okay, let's get you. Select new contents. Save. Oof. What a pain. What a major pain. Alright, well. 
see if I can grab any of these other trains. That one's almost at a good stopping point. Okay, we already have copper, so we don't need copper. This... What are we doing here? Okay, so here we have... That's the building train. This is probably iron. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to stop it. So I can redo the fishbook blueprint for iron ore. Let's see. Yeah, this is not great. I don't know how this happened. I swear these used to be like full cars. Or did I just... Like, I don't know. Did I fix them on my other computer, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Let me know if you if you have experienced something like this, or, or am I the only one with these weird blueprints? Because um, that is definitely not right. And I'll fix the rest um, in my blueprint library um, and then just push it out to you so not like 300 people have to fix this or 3,000 people, however many people are using the blueprints right now. Okay, um, are we good? So your destination full still, as in there's not enough copper here. How much is there? Uh, oh, we need to change these, of course, to L's. Yes. All right, L. An L being the train limit. Limit starting with an L right here. It's the signal we're going for. We have one. Okay, so that train should leave. There it is. It's going. There it is. Cool. Can watch it go around the little swirl there. And it should load up. And then that means that we can get some... Uh... Oh, ow, ow. Go away, rocks. Shoo, leave me alone. So if we go to assembly one, that's going to be our greased circuit assembly center. And then I want to see the copper come in there. And we're going to be able to get some actual production. Here's the iron. Iron still keeps getting delivered. That's crazy. That's a lot of iron. So copper is going to come in soon. And there is our train arriving at the station. So yay. So copper will come in here. So oh, wow, that was close. <laughs> Whoops. I really shouldn't interweave uh, between the trains. Mm, not really great. Not a great idea. Okay, put in a radar down there. And copper, where are you? Where are you, copper? Hello? You're still here? What? Why? It's almost done. Oh, I guess it just took a while to load. Ooh, there are some inserters not working. That's probably why. Are these? These are all in the construction range, so they should be seen to eventually. Yeah, it's one of those weird things. Okay, copper has arrived. Yo. And it didn't do anything. Uh. Uh huh. What? Does this, that train surely is loaded? No, yes. I'm so confused by this. Maybe, oh, are we going with stu, oh God. All right, I think I know what happened. I think it has the fish book problems. I stopped the train. Okay, there we go. They have iron. Oh my God, I did the wrong train. Remember the iron one was messed up? Oh, no. Uh, okay, that was bad. Bad, 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 bad. All right. Okay, that's... Uh, I fixed all the cars. One of the things I did not fix is this cable link. Remember, we needed to join these in the middle. Uh, oh, not there. Whoopsies. I meant from here to there. Thank you. And we needed to change this one to copper. Uh, hello? I am very confused about this. Oh! Uh, okay, we don't need this one then. We just need to attach this one to that one. And change this one to copper. Okay, that's what we want to do. Okay, good. And then this one. 
is we don't need this one but we do need this one okay very good so perfect so these are going to work quite nicely hopefully we're going to get those dang so basically the copper train the reason it took so long it was waiting the full 60 seconds before it could leave it's like okay can we go leave now mommy can we leave yeah no now it's going to actually load up uh, and then it can leave but these limits are not the correct limits. We need to double them because of the stack size is bigger. So these need to be, this needs to be 24, let's see, 12,800 is going to be 25,600. Okay. And then this one is going to be 51,200. Okay. And then this one is more than that. Oh dear. 38. Let's do it. 800 first. 38 is going to be, let's see, 76. That's an awful lot. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. So I, I think I just need to copy these. And then I can paste them out here as well. There we go. Okay, cool. So now, oh my god, we got green circuits. Look at this, we got green circuits! And a happy robot force. Look at them all flying around like crazy. Ain't that a peach? Mm-mm, that's nice. Woohoo! look at this. Look at this wildness. Oh, this is fantastic. So over time, we're going to get more and more construction robots as we... Um, as we fill up from the building train, uh, as you see, there's more and more leaving as we're entering them into the robo ports. That's pretty great. I'm excited. Yay. All right. And so now we are actually getting some of these green circuits. And where are the green circuits going? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh-huh. Okay, so this is a bad thing. Jeez. All right, what I want to do is change these um, change these up here to buffer boxes, okay? So what's happening is we have a circular loop going on, and that's not great. What we need to do is change these all to buffer boxes because there's a specific setting that you can enable or disable in, the case, in this case. So if we go through, you can see... Um, and you can check request from buffer chest. So we're not going to request from buffer chest. We're only going to have them coming down here. So this is, this is great. This is pretty great. Yay. Wow. So many tasty green circuits. Whoa, boy. All right. Do we need some in our base? Also, we aren't making much progress here, are we? I feel like we might need more construction bots. Well, they're not doing much, actually. I think we just need more product. Um, our amount of green circuits that we're making is woefully low. And I'm not really sure why that is. Huh. Oh, things got messed up. Oh no, all oh, my furnaces got messed up. Oh no, all right, let's go back there. Uh huh. Let's go back to base and fix this because this ain't great. Something happened when I blueprinted or when I copied stuff that messed up the thingies here. Oh no, I know what I did. Oh dear. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, some of these were ending up on the wrong thingy majingies. Wrong levels? Yeah, okay. Let's check all of the others and make sure that those are also fixed. Okay, here, take my stuff. There you go. All right, this one is looping around. This one is wrong. Eh. Okay. Let's see. We can take this one out. Yeah, I was not careful enough here. That's bad. Okay, go away. I knew I was placing them down too often, I, I gotta say. I knew it. Somehow I knew it. 
but I messed it up anyway. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Let's go back here and see where we also have another mistake. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I placed them every single row instead of every other row. So that really messed that up. Okay, so this is another dud of a of a thing here. And instead, this row has a billion inserters. What the heck? What the heck went on here, man? This is completely wrong. Oh, oh, and see how slow they're going? This is not great. So our in our internet, ha! Huh, our production is way way low, and I don't know why. Looks like our um, yeah our power crashed basically, and we we weren't even able to put up the the proper amount of um, uh, energy into the accumulators. So let's see if we still have this thing. This is where this thing should go. Actually, is on this level right there. So here, let's do this, and then okay, and then let's take it around. Input priority right, and then these guys can get... Yeah, there we go. Looking good. This area is really struggling to provide enough uh, stuff because of the energy shortage. So that's definitely not ideal. Okay, but that's three. That's three uh, iron lines. That's good. Where is the fourth iron line? We have just copper up here, it looks like. This is iron, one, two, three. And then the others are the steel lines. Okay, that's fine. So the copper, um, it looks like we might be able to route those through uh, this way. Because we never routed those, if you remember. Um, this, I don't know why that's there. Mm, that might have been from early game, I'm thinking. Okay, so let's take these guys and connect them out here. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. So now we have copper flowing in every area. Let's just make sure that we have the proper priorities on all of the thingy majingies and that we have all of them covered. It looks fine. It looks really fine right now. Okay, very good. Whoo, boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a mess and a half. At least now we have a lot more circuits to play with, which is great. Um, are we good with circuits? How are we flowing? We are really not getting enough blue science. This is just a pain. It's only 200 science and it's not progressing. What is the reason here? Red red chips. Okay, let's. F I feel like there's red chips not even coming in here. Okay, red chips are indeed not coming in here. Oh no, shoot. That was our problem the whole time. Well, I mean, part of the problem. I'm sure there have been other problems. Goodness knows we have a, a buildup down here of red circuits, but we did get a lot of modules made, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> that's good, sure. Let's put a positive spin on this. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, that was definitely not on the ideal side of things. Um, I'm not sure where that came in. Maybe it was like a replop of a blueprint or something. I'm not actually sure where that um, underground it came from. So, But now we should be able to get... Yeah, there's our blue science coming on down. Hooray. I was like, why isn't this finishing? It's taking forever. Okay, very good. Is there anything we really need to recycle? I don't think so. I really don't think we need to recycle much at all. Uh, there's some belt in here, but that's not really necessary. Uh, how are things going? Do we need the green circuits? Because if we look at our production, I want to see this. I want to see how much green circuits, what the increase has been. Look at this. From this level up to here. Holy fuzzy cats. That's huge. Wow. That's... That's big. And then, of course, we've had these dips as we've had some issues going on. But it is looking pretty darn awesome. So cool. All right. That is kind of all the time we have for today. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for clicking the like button. Uh, that really helps out the channel. It really does wonders. And I'm so, so grateful um, for everyone who chooses to support me. You help. I mean, you make it possible for me to make these videos. Um, so thank you so very much. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.